does not end simply with just striking looks. It also involves a delegate's ability to express herself, especially under nerve-wracking conditions. I can't agree more because right now we have to make a very important decision. We're going to pick the brains of eight delegates. That means there's another cut. Well, thankfully, we don't actually have to make the decisions. We just have to ask the questions. It is those people over there in the hot seat that have to decide, and they have a very, very tough job tonight. Each of the top eight will be asked a question and will be given 30 seconds to answer. The accounting firm of Ernst & Young has verified the results, and we are now ready to announce who will move to the next round. And a representative is making his way up here on stage to give us the audited results. And there you will have the top eight. As you know, we began with 83, we narrowed it down to 20, then to 12, and now to 8. We have the results. Thank you. In no particular order. Starting with... question out loud. Oh. When you hear that sound, that will be time up. And your question is, Netherlands, how do you stay positive despite what's happening in the world today? Good evening. I created a platform called My Tree and Me. This is more than a platform. It is my... It, it is my commitment to, de to debating deforestation, trees, the lungs of the So it is the lungs of the earth that keep you positive. Thank you, Netherlands. That was a lot of pressure for the first one, but you did pray, the Netherlands. Absolutely, that is. And in front of this wonderful crowd, by the way, the next we have is... Brazil! Brazil will also have to pick out their own questions. They'll have 30 seconds as well to answer these questions or this single question. Brazil! Did I say it right? Pick your question, Brazil.
future that is affecting all of us right now at rapid speed. The question is, Vietnam, what do you think are the pros and cons of artificial intelligence, AI? The good and the bad. I do believe that environmental issues has no borders. And I believe that we live in a world of information and data and overflowing of information and data. So um, in my opinion, I believe that artificial intelligence has the ability to help us, but also hurt us. And we need to be very practical in our ability to use technology. For me, I think what I love most about being a woman is that I'm being loved. Wow! Being loved. Kazakhstan, thank you. There's, there's more to the There's show. more. Is there As more? I guess we'll leave it to the judges. All right, next up, we have... to social media. Since Yao, Vietnam, I believe that social media can truly present itself very disparately but in accordance to how people use it. I believe that when a child is parented by their parents to practice responsible cyber citizenship in which he would know when to click, what to read, and who to trust online, then no matter what the age is, then it should be validated and should be accepted. Judges to decide. Next up, we have Albania. Just three more. Albania, pick out your question. You have 30 seconds to answer. 
sir. Không quay con này hả Vinh? Đâu tiêu rồi? For someone who was born in the age of technology, can you imagine living in the past when the internet did not exist? Hello everyone, good evening. Well, in my introduction video at the end I said I really want to live in a world that my grandparents lived, where nature was our first step, where we would play outside and actually enjoy, get to know each other and respect the, our surroundings. I do believe that technology right now is very important, it's part of our life, we cannot ignore it, but environment and our surroundings is more important because that's where we were born. That's what respects us and so we should respect it. Thank you. Albania. The caliber tonight is unbelievable. Very impressive. Next up we have... are constantly going up. Yes, I believe that right now the economy is going through a crisis. People are not, afford, uh, not available to afford housing, food, the essential life. Because we are so, uh, because we are so drawn to luxury objects, we forget the nature, we forget where we were from, we forget how we were. Wow, brought up. I believe people should go back to the roots and stay with nature. Thank you. Thailand! Makes a good point too about getting wrapped up in all the luxury. And maybe it's about just what we just need, not exactly what we want. And last on the list is... This makes up the top eight. for the audience so they all know what you're answering and it is what do you think about the world's declining birth rate um, uh, uh, I believe that our world very beautiful, very flourish, and about the client, I think that children is very, very important thing to our life because I spend at the pedagogical university and I love children very much, and I want to pass my knowledge about ecology. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! 